Now see a, a train standing at the outer signal of a railway station blows a whistle of frequency 400 hertz in a still air. What is the frequency of the whistle for a platform observer when the train approaches platform with a speed of 10 meter per second and recedes from the platform with a speed of 10 meter per second? The speed of sound in a still air is given to you 340 meter per second. Now see here there is a source and there is listener. If this is moving to this side and this is moving to this side with the speed of Vs and with the speed of Vl. Then we write frequency nu dash is equal to V minus Vl upon V minus Vs into nu. This is the actual frequency, this is the apparate frequency heard by the listener. Now in this case source is moving towards listener, but this is the platform that means the observer on the platform is at rest. So, obviously that is Vl is equal to 0. So, Vl is equal to 0 means that is here nu dash is equal to V upon V minus Vs into nu and you will be getting here 340 into 400 that is nu divided by 340 minus 10. When you solve it you will be getting here around 412.12 hertz on solving this. So, this is the frequency apparent frequency heard by the listener when the train is approaching the platform with the speed of 10 meter per second. This is the speed of the source. It is another case when the suppose train is receding then what will happen? So, when the train is receding that means source is going to this side. So, we have to take this sign plus and Vl is 0. So, we will be getting here Vl is equal to 0. So, here it will become nu dash is equal to V up into nu divided by V plus Vs that is 340 into 100 this is 400 divided by 340 plus 10 and when you solve it you will be getting 386.6 hertz. So, this is the apparent frequency heard by the listener here when the source is receding away from the platform with the speed of 10 meter per second. Now, see here a steel rod 100 centimeter long is clamped at its middle. Suppose there is a rod of 100 centimeter long and it is clamped at the middle. Now, the fundamental frequency of the longitudinal vibrations of the rod is given to be 2.53 kilohertz that means nu is equal to 2.53 kilohertz that is your 2.53 into 10 raised to power 3 hertz. So, see here in case of the fundamental mode of vibration when this rod is clamped at this point at this point node is formed at the end anti nodes are formed. It means the vibration is something like this it is in this way. So, there are the two node anti nodes and one node is formed here. In this case the formula for the frequency is equal to here nu is equal to nu dash uh, that is a nu dash is nu is equal to v upon 2 l v is the velocity and now we have to calculate what is the speed of sound v we have to calculate. So, v is equal to nu into 2 l and L we know that is given to you 100 centimeter that is 1 meter. So, L is equal to 100 centimeter. So, 2.53 into 10 raised to power 3 into 2 into 1 meter per second. So, when you multiply it here you will be getting 5.06 into 10 raised to power 3 meter per second. 